Iowa. I'm Elizabeth from the Austin Nature and Science Center. Thanks for joining me for Tales from the Trail. Today we are going to read a very silly story called Nothing Like a Puffin. Hmm, do you know what a puffin is? I wonder if you can guess what kind of animal it is. Hmm. That's right, it is a bird. I see it has a beak and some wings and maybe it's flying. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what we'll learn about this puffin. The author is Sue Soltis and the illustrator is Bob Kolar. Nothing like a puffin. Look! A puffin! What a marvelous creature! <laughs> One of a kind and amazing. Indeed, there is nothing like a puffin. Take, for example, this ladder. A ladder is nothing like a puffin. It has steps you climb up to get somewhere high. Hmm, so this ladder doesn't really have anything in common with that puffin. A house is also nothing like a puffin. A house has windows and doors. Inside are sinks and chairs and beds. A house is a place you can live in. So does a puffin have anything in common with that house? Newspaper, to be sure, is nothing like a puffin. A newspaper is shaped like a rectangle and is made out of paper. Is the puffin shaped like a rectangle or made out of paper? No. A newspaper has pages. It's black and white. <gasps> but wait! What else is black and white? A puffin is black and white too. What are the chances? A newspaper is something like a puffin after all. A pair of jeans, of course, is nothing like a puffin. Jeans are blue. Jeans have pockets and two legs. <gasps> Oh no, don't say it. What else has two legs? Puffins have two legs too. Not another thing that's something like a puffin. Look out for the goldfish. <laughs> of course, a goldfish is nothing like a puffin. A goldfish has scales and fins. A goldfish swims. Hmm. Is there anything you can think of that is in common between a goldfish and a puffin? Ha! Huh. It looks like a puffin can swim too. A goldfish is a little bit, a tiny little bit like a puffin. Hmm. So is a newspaper. So is a pair of jeans. What could possibly be next? Do you have a guess? Surely a shovel is nothing like a puffin. A puffin isn't made out of wood or metal. A puffin doesn't have a handle or a blade for digging. <gasps> Just a minute. A puffin uses its feet for digging. Huh, a shovel is a little something like a puffin. Who would have guessed? Look here. This snake is nothing at all like a puffin. A snake moves along without legs or wings. Snakes hatch from eggs, just like birds. 
Hold on a second. A puffin is a bird, so it must have hatched from an egg too. A uh, snake is something like a puffin. That figures, huh. They both hatched from eggs. That's what they have in common. How about that helicopter? What might the helicopter have in common with the puffin? Well, a helicopter doesn't have two legs and it can't swim. It's made out of metal and has a propeller. A helicopter flies. Watch out! This puffin can fly too. Even a helicopter is something like a puffin. Maybe a puffin is not so amazing after all. Maybe a puffin is not one of a kind. Look at this penguin. A penguin is black and white, just like the puffin. The penguin dives and swims, just like a puffin. A penguin is a bird, so is a puffin. A penguin has feathers, two wings, a beak, and two feet. <sighs> There's no getting around it. A penguin and a puffin are two of a kind. So they have a lot in common. Can you think of any differences? How is the puffin different than the penguin? But look, a penguin can't fly. <laughs> a penguin is more than a little like a puffin. More than say a newspaper or a goldfish. But it is not exactly like a puffin. So it's true, it's true after all. Huh. There is nothing like a puffin. <laughs> the puffin is so unique. I think that story is so silly because it's a fun way to think about similarities and differences. So with that story, I thought it might be fun to come up with our own unique birds. Grab some Play-Doh and some loose parts. That could be sticks or some ball moss, maybe some acorns or pecans, and see if you can invent your own unique bird. <gasps> Start by squeezing and manipulating the Play-Doh. I thought about some of my favorite birds to get inspiration from my silly Play-Doh bird. I added long legs like a flamingo, ball moss for feathers, a stick beak like a toucan, large leaf wings like an eagle's wings, and big eyes like an owl. <laughs> Look at this silly bird. Or you could use these materials to recreate your favorite bird. Here I've made a hummingbird with a long thin beak and short fluffy feathers. Remember, with Play-Doh, there is no right or wrong way to create, as long as you have fun and use your imagination. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you have fun making your own unique birds. Bye! Check out our Facebook page for more videos from the Austin Nature and Science Center.